Kennedy is a Democrat running for Congress in the 17th district here in Texas. Now, your support, obviously, you're looking for people's support. And I want to talk to you about going on your website. One of the things I just mentioned to you is it says moving forward. How do you plan to move forward? Well, we, we plan to move forward. Um, you know, let me, let me just say for, in, uh, for uh, right off the bat that most of the people in this country, the vast majority of Americans, the vast majority of Texans, and the vast majority of the people in the 17th district think the current Congress is a disaster. It is a government of the donors, by the donors, and for the donors, not for the people. Uh, they're engaged in spiteful hyperpartisanship that is damaging our democratic institutions. Uh, as well as hurting the people of the country and the, and the district. And moving forward, making progress means returning to the, our basic demo democratic values that we seem to have moved away from in the last few years. And some of those values, I know health care is part of your platform. What do you plan to do there? Absolutely. Um, I, I, before I get to that, I just want to add to my previous comment that our, our current incumbent, Bill Flores, uh, doesn't get a free pass on what has and has not happened in Congress so far. Uh, he's part of the Republican leadership and he is partly responsible for what's happening there. So for instance, they've passed a major tax bill that shifts a lot of the tax burden eventually away from the wealthy and the corporations onto the uh, working and middle classes. Uh, it also adds a trillion and a half dollars to our deficit. Uh, at the same time, they failed to uh, when we're getting to health care, they have failed to um, reauthorize the children's health insurance program. So we've got over 80,000 kids in this district who are either dependent on CHIP or Medicaid or, depend or, or not insured at all. Um, and um, according to this logic, tax cuts for the wealthy are more important than taking care of our kids in this what district. Would, and what that's would you say change. to some of uh, Senator Flores' constituents who are very happy with his work and would like to see him stay in office? Well, you know, I, I, there's a certain set of, a certain number of constituents who are certainly happy with what he's doing at the moment, right, and how he's performing. But I think we've got to back the conversation away from maybe ideology, big government versus small government, uh, and, and drill a conversation down on actual problems and actual people. I'm an engineer by trade, by training. Uh, I'm a problem solver, and I think that we should be focusing on the issues and, and, and developing a government that is the right size for the issues that we need to address. All right, Rick, we are out of time. Thank you so much for coming here this morning. Primary is March 6th. Correct. You know, people, make sure you go out and, and vote whatever way you're going to go, but we really appreciate you coming out and sharing your time with us. Thanks, Pete. Great to be here. Yeah, you got it. All right, we'll be right back.